We are with Jimmy LaRue of Clarksdorp Midas, winner of uh, Stage 2 in the Midvale Vets Tour. Jimmy, a tough first day. You were hopelessly outnumbered at the front of the race, but you worked hard. Today in the Kames on the track, uh, it all came good for you. How was how are the conditions? Um, today on the track was a bit tough. The wind was uh, cold and air was thick. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was, uh, Worked out okay in the end, uh, tacked on the last lap, got away, stayed away, so I was happy with that. Yesterday took a lot out of our legs, I think a lot of the guys are hurting today. Um, in that wind yesterday was a tough one, probably the toughest stage you'd find on this tour. So yeah, all in all, good day, day, good, good day today, even though the, wind was, the weather was a bit against us, but it was good. You uh, still uh, hoping for uh, perhaps a top, top 3 GC finish? Uh, well, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow morning. Uh, See how that stage goes, and then the time trial in the afternoon, we'll have to look again. You know, it's going to be a tough day tomorrow, two stages. So, yeah, hopefully in the time trial we can make up some time and then maybe get into the top three. And third place at, in the Kames today, a uh, tough day on, on, on the Midvale Raceway. You spent a lot of time off the front in breaks. Uh, can you tell us about it? Um, I spent probably half the race off in breaks. A uh, good part was out there by myself. Got very windy towards the end. Um, I didn't think I was even going to be able to hang in on the bunch and yeah, luck played, played its role and uh, yeah, I moved up on the last lap and happened to get away from the guys. Um, tomorrow, uh, road stage and then a time trial, what's the plan? Tomorrow, well, I don't know if the King of the Mountains is still on but the idea is to go for all the King of the Mountain Preems to get that jersey. And then we're going to consolidate the yellow, go for the yellow in the time trial. Merry do, Mr. Price. Uh, sprinting legs were found today. Uh, second place on, on, on the Midvale Raceway. How was the conditions? Yeah, the wind was blowing. The group stayed together most of the way, so it was really good for that reason. Um, a lot easier in the group than out in our own. The wind found out, but yeah, a good sprint at the end. So we're happy. Kept all the jerseys that we needed, so it's fine. And uh, your man in yellow, uh, he, we see he, 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 he stayed in the bunch and <laughs> did, did, did as, as little as possible. Uh, are you saving him for tomorrow? Or? Yeah, obviously he's got to rest his legs as much as possible for the time trial. He's only got a few seconds on Cycle Nation, so you've got to be careful. Rest as much as possible. Darren Moorman, again, a masterclass in tactics. Five guys off the front, <laughs> totally, totally rode away from the race. Uh, how are things going so far? Well, it was a good day for us. Eh? Um, went according to plan. We wanted to put our other two guys up, up in the top 10 as well. And it was hard. Uh, turned out quite well when we all got together and it was a nice team time trial. We see uh, Martin van Weyck at Club 100 just sat on the back uh, most of the race and then uh, far, you know, appeared for the sprint, but you were strong enough to, to hold him off. Yeah, look, it, uh, we told him to, to sit because we didn't we didn't worry where he is and uh, just the last two, three laps I sat at the back to hopefully, you know, I'm not really a sprinter, but yeah, it came my way, so I'm very happy. Thanks, sir. We are with Howard of Club 100. Howard, windy conditions out there in the uh, Kames today. Uh, we see you still holding on to the polka dot jersey. Yes, I was comfortable towards the end, uh, but out of place towards the end when I, when I finished. But yeah, the windy conditions uh, played a huge factor on, on us uh, being close to finishing well. But uh, I think tomorrow will be a different day. Uh, jerseys have changed um, and it's going to be quite competitive. So yeah, uh, we're looking forward to a fantastic day. Hopefully it's not so much wind and we'll enjoy that. Thanks. Thanks. Grand Spice Cycle Lab. Uh, windy conditions out on the Midval Raceway, uh, but you came through at the end. Uh, how would you describe the day? Well, for me it was a successful day thanks to my partners next to me. These oaks were working hard, the wind was howling. Um, Chris got away right in the beginning and uh, we almost didn't catch him. Uh, it, was, it was cold, very cold, and the wind was something to howl though. So you must know all about it. Chris, we saw you early on in that race uh, off the front. Uh, what was the plan? Are you, you chasing GC? Um, yeah, I, that's, my, that's my aim eventually. Uh, wind, windy conditions uh, actually suit me fine because I've got a bit of weight and I will normally try and clap it hard if there's wind, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> Otherwise, tomorrow uh, another road stage and then a time trial? Uh, I don't have really have to defend anything now, so I noticed the, guy, uh, the guys watch me all the time. So whenever I made a move, they were right on to me, so tomorrow they're not going to watch me. So. 
the pressure is off me, it's on to Yuan and Keith now to, to defend again. <laughs> Keith, riding in the colours of Panda, how's your people's tour been so far? Uh, our tour has been alright, in the 40 plus I believe they're doing very well, in the 50 plus I'm trying my very best to stay up there in, in the GC but it's very very hard indeed because you have to watch so many people and uh, so that the pressure's on with every jump and it's very very hard for, for, for me to actually keep up the pace but I'm trying my best. Otherwise for the remainder of the tour uh, what's the plan? I just have to just watch and keep a tight um, eye on everybody and just keep up there as cl close mm -hmm. as possible and try and finish and uh, just see what happens at the end of the tour. Thank yeah, you. with Josh Buschel of Mr. Price under 16. Josh, that's two out of two at the uh, Vets Tour in the under 16 category. Uh, how are the conditions out on the track today? Uh, they were very windy, like very, very windy. <laughs> very windy. Um, did the older guys make it a bit tough for you? Uh, they did, especially along the, the back straight because the wind was on our back. They would go like, like close to 50 gears an hour and we would have to spin a lot. On your restricted gears? Yeah. We see uh, though coming into the, the, the home finish, uh, you put the whole lot of them away. Uh, yeah, I was actually trying to lead out Monet and uh, I went around the second last corner and the guy at the front pulled out and I jumped on the inside and Monet let me go and then I, I think I just opened enough gap to stay. Thanks Josh.